Hello, this is the video for the 1983 Volvo 244. Two owners, 92,000 original miles, uh, red with the five speed. And today we're going to go over the car, the features it has, see what works, see what doesn't, um, problems, quirks, etc. Sorry, the video is a little overdue. I've been coming home and it's been dark. And. I had a little bit of rain last night, although I just washed the car yesterday. We have three keys. We've got a main key, trunk, and then the fuel cap. You can see here that all the power locks work. Lock. Um, let's take a look around the outside first. The paint's in good shape. These are the cracks I was mentioning on the post um, on these lens. This side over here looks much better. Here's the inside of the trunk. Got the jack, um, a little bag of tools for the jack. Here's the carpet, the spare tire. Look under the spare tire into the butt cheek. That's what they call this area. You'll see. No rust. This is just mud. Getting my gloves dirty for you guys. This is a very common area to have rust on these 240s, so. This one doesn't, that's good. The tire looks to be in pretty good shape as well. Um, needs air though. The shocks work. These shocks here that hold up the trunk, that's good. It's not fun having a trunk falling down on you. To close this, you gotta give it a little slam. There we are. Okay, going around to this side, here's the locking fuel cap. seen a lot of videos that are lacking in really good substance so we're gonna we're gonna go through everything it's gonna take a while but I want you to know what you're getting okay here's the Michelin here's the other butt cheek see this tire is in good shape the chrome's in good shape the wheel well looks good. Here's the door. Back seat. This rear shelf mat. This is where a lot of sun gets to this plastic. It starts to deteriorate that as well. This has been bleached by the sun. Let's change my battery now. Okay. Um, dirty back of the seat there. Here are the floor mats. Underneath is another floor mat. And underneath that is a uh, good clean carpet. Here's the door panel. The window. And back up. Right. 
and onto the front. Another thing here with the window. Great. Underneath this floor mat, more original clean carpet. Here's the passenger seat. No tears in the fabric. In the glove box here, it's kind of hard to turn it, and once you do, you have to manually turn it back. This piece is getting difficult. I would have changed it out with another one. It's just that the key works for it. Here's an extra door trim. Owner's manual. Cool. And uh, maintenance book. Uh, something about the service manuals. Dealer directory. Installation instructions for the Sony unit here. I get to hear that in a minute. And then a bunch of pens. And turn it manually. Great. Here's the roof. The windshield. Crack so let's see it ends here, it carries on around there. I'll have to go around to get a better look at it. It started here. The wiper blades look okay. It's the hood, the other wheel. to the front. The chrome looks good on this side too. Uh, it's good that all the trim's in place. Here's a little bit of a sort of somewhat of a dent. I guess I didn't really see it till it was repainted. It's not very noticeable though. Bumper looks good, it's not scratched up, missing any pieces. Okay, let's go inside and uh, take a look. Well, here's the tire also for the. Forgot to go over those. And back here. And let's take a look underneath. Laguna, New Mexico has got this red and tan mud. So there's gonna be traces of mud under here. Let's see, we'll start at the exhaust, work our way back. There's the fuel filter. Let's brighten it up. Um, exhaust. You can see that there's a new catalytic converter. We'll take a look at that from the side. But just everything's a bit muddy from Laguna. Let's look at the exhaust. There's the cat. The pipe going to the muffler and going over to the engine bay. Mud, mud, mud.
92.690 is about to roll over to 90. There we go, give it a start. Sometimes the wheel is hard to turn with the key. The trick that I do for that is lock the wheel and then turn the wheel with the key. So the AC is on, um, I mean the blower here. You have the options floor, defrost, recirculate. This is the knob for the air conditioning as it turns. Let me turn this off. As this knob turns for the AC, there's a click right there. And that controls the amount. As soon as that clicks on, there's an electric fan that was added, not by me, um, before, that is on the front of the radiator. It's a push fan and it helps to cool the car additionally. So it's good to see that the AC still works on that. Okay. I'll close the door so that we don't get interrupted by that buzzer again. Okay. Okay. I'll put it in neutral and give it a start. It's pretty quiet in here. Which is good. The parking brake works wonderfully. Here we can hear the radio. Turns on. Static on all speakers. that unit and you'll be in business. Let's go outside, we'll take a look at the engine. One happy engine, let's go for a drive.
test the overdrive now.